Hey everybody, this is Chuck Marone with Strong Towns. Today I want to talk about roundabouts and uh, kind of a little bit of public outcry over a new one going up here in my city. When I wrote Confessions of a Recovering Engineer, I was mostly talking about other places, but there was one little vignette in that book <laughs> where I talked about my city. We had uh, the old highway that runs through the middle of town and it's four lanes, center turn lane in some places. It's obnoxiously wide. It divides the city north and south. And we redid it a few years ago, and we had the opportunity to remove some lanes, to add some on-street parking, to slow traffic down a little bit, and to make what has become kind of the bad side of town, largely because of this uh, investment, this transportation investment, make it a lot nicer, like put it on the path to recovery. The debate we had at that time was you know, about basically two different visions. One vision was we got to keep the gas stations uh, and you know, going along here. We have uh, big cement trucks that run through town. They need to be able to drive through at speed. And essentially the Chamber of Commerce came down on the idea that the best and highest use of this corridor was to run traffic through very quickly. Like that was... That was how everybody would succeed. And I, you know, called that the barnacle strategy. The idea that, you know, we would position ourselves near a lot of flow and try to catch a little bit that came off of it. Uh, that is a pretty pathetic kind of economic strategy. The other vision, however, uh, was uh, the idea that we would make it into a street. That we would actually recognize that this corridor, particularly as you get a little bit further north into the core of the city, is the most valuable land in the region. Not, not on an aggregate total basis, but on a per square foot basis. Uh, this is some of the most valuable real estate in all of central Minnesota. Um, if we weren't degrading it the way we are, it would be worth so much more. And it could be such a much better place to be. I lost. <laughs> Um, as happens. Um, but part of this corridor uh, was this intersection at what is called Willow Street, where the city had run uh, really a very oversized kind of bypass lane on the south of town around to intersect with this former highway that runs through the city. This was all like federally funded, big transportation projects, that kind of stuff. It was absurd at the time. They built it in a way where it could accommodate a traffic signal. In other words, it was designed to someday have a traffic signal. This is a effect of growing up. I talk about this in Confessions of Recovering Engineer too, where as engineers, we look at something like an intersection and say, okay, today is an open intersection. Someday it will have, it will grow up and it will have a stop sign. And someday it will grow up and it will have a traffic signal. And someday it will grow up and it will have an interchange. That phase of growing up from where it is today, which it has at two stop signs and then through traffic uh, to a full traffic signal, is done through a process called warrants. Basically, if enough crashes happen or there's enough traffic uh, or if enough people die, uh, then you can justify putting in a signal. Until then, you technically can't. I mean, you can put it in, but you're not going to get any funding for it. And the idea was, at the time they put this in, not enough people had died, not enough crashes, and there certainly wasn't enough traffic to justify spending the money on a signal. Well, that is still generally the case. A signal is a really bad idea here. But what could be built at a fraction of the cost, and I mean like 10%, 20% of the cost, is a roundabout. And the thing about a roundabout is there is actually not enough traffic here, but because of the design, the through traffic is going really fast, and the cross traffic has to cross five lanes, two lanes in each direction and a third lane. Um, it is really dangerous. It is really hard to cross. It creates a lot of tension. And so... The idea was to put in a signal. Now, I think City Hall's gotten really smart, has figured out like, hey, we're in a bad position. This was like four bad decisions that got us to this point. Let's not make a fifth bad decision. Let's spend a lot less money 
and let's make a traffic circle here. Let's make a roundabout here. Roundabout is better traffic flow at lower cost. Um, you could argue that at the peak, peak, peak times, like in the peak 15 minutes a day, that a traffic signal would be better. That's usually what engineers use to justify traffic signals as opposed to these kind of continuous flow type intersections. But the reality is, is that for almost all the day, all the time, and certainly at the traffic volumes that we have here, a roundabout would be great. Here's why I brought this up today. It was in the paper last night, paper posted it on Facebook. People are going nuts. And they're yelling, they're, they're angry, like, why is this city so dumb? Why would they not just put in a traffic signal? Round, my, my favorite comment was, roundabouts are so dangerous. Do you know how many near crashes there's been? I must say, lots of near crashes. Lots and lots of near crashes. Emphasis on the word near. The thing about a roundabout is that it does slow you down. It does, if it's designed right, require you to drive slower. If there are near crashes, it's because you're actually getting near to other vehicles, but you're doing it at really low speeds. If there are crashes, and there are from time to time, I'm not gonna say there aren't, they're generally of the low kind of kinetic energy variety. They're generally like fender benders, or you get your door nicked. It's not like people are dying. This is a dangerous intersection. If we don't fix it, somebody's gonna die. And I'm really proud of my city for stopping this kind of cycle of idiocy and actually doing the right thing and building the less expensive, better performing uh, option, building a roundabout.